And we finally make it to the end of level three. Fifteen hands to go. Reno unopposed. We have three spades. Three hearts is six. A club is seven. Need two more tricks somewhere. Lots of stoppers here is nice. Now what do we have? Seven clubs versus eight diamonds. And we need to set up two more tricks. A lot of entries, too, to either of these suits. <clears throat> it's more about just which of these is actually going to be or give us a better chance of setting up two tricks. It's in clubs, if we just play clubs from the top, so like ace of clubs, we have, we have solid clubs, and to some extent we have solid diamonds. So given enough time, we would get the tricks. If we just play ace of clubs and then keep banging down clubs, um, if there are three, three, we'll have enough timing, right? So we'll play ace of clubs, ten of clubs loses, they knock out a second spade, nine of clubs loses, they knock out a third spade, and now we've got tricks. If clubs aren't three, three, though, we're probably going to have an issue of just not enough timing. And that might make me turn my attention to hearts instead. There's three cards to knock out in hearts, the ace, king, and the jack. And I also have three heart stoppers. Oh, a concern there, though, is how many tricks are the ops actually going to get? We can give them three diamonds and a spade. Like, they're winning the spade race, right? If I have three spade stoppers, I'm trying to knock out three diamonds. Then it could go ace of spades, let's say I, I know, finesse to the ten, um, it loses to the jack, they knock out a spade, heart, diamond, they knock out a spade, I still have to go heart, diamond again, I also have a heart entry, the diamonds will be set up at that point, but they'll be able to cash spades as well. So they could be getting three diamonds plus however many spades they're owed. Um, but something pretty similar will happen in clubs if clubs aren't 3-3. Three, three. Like, yeah, I actually do care about the club split, whereas I don't care about the diamond split at all. I think that's true. When clubs are 4-2, I end up losing three clubs. And they're already ahead of me on spade, which is, I mean, it's okay. Something beneficial, though, is I can pick up a few holdings like um, like Doubleton Jack with West in, and only lose two diamonds, because I could finesse the ten. Finessing a ten seems strictly better than playing up to the queen, because it, it picks up a little bit, like, yeah, like Doubleton Jack here. Oh, versus low to the queen picks up only singleton and jack here. Yeah, low to the ten seems better. I guess, oh, oh right, because the concern about doing clubs, beyond the fact that they might be able to cash a spade on me, I just have no entries back to the clubs. Even if, even if they are 4-2 and I do set the clubs up, only losing three clubs in the spade, I still can't get to the clubs. I think the advantages of diamonds are, are fairly clear once we consider everything. And I think low to the 10 seems like the right choice. I mean, low, low to anything, right? These are, all, these are all equivalent. I can literally play the five. Okay, they get the jack. Um, oh, I didn't think about a club switch. Hmm, I probably should, huh? Who says they're going to keep attacking spades after all? Thing is though, if they persist in attacking clubs, they're going to set tricks up for me.
Taking the ace is dangerous, because now I've set up ace, king of diamonds, king, queen, jack of spades. I can't afford that. I can let them have this club. Ah, now they switch back to the spades. And I'm still intending to give them two diamond tricks, huh? That's a bit rough. There's like the tiniest amount of merit to playing the Ace of Clubs. Hoping that whoever wins the diamonds has no clubs to return. I think, I think that's a terrible idea. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to work. Oh, we're not dead yet. Spades are splitting. Four, oh, oh, sorry, we don't know that yet. Someone could have five spades. And so the hope here is that whoever wins this diamond doesn't have a spade to cash. But they do. They do. And down. Even though spades are splitting. I'm not sure that means that we should actually attack clubs, though. Clubs seem really dangerous. And so for similar reasons, like, they, if we, so we win the spade. If we go after clubs, they can also grab their diamond tricks, right? They can grab ace-king of diamonds. Not go to spade. Oh, but I guess that's, again, that sets up diamonds for me. So we're going to give them one club. They take ace king of diamonds, three tricks, not go to spade. Give them another club. They might get three diamonds, right? Like if I lead a if I lead a club, West Wind, lead the diamond through. I could lose three diamonds in the club really fast. Oh, then again, if they if I actually did lose three diamonds, I would have diamonds set up. So that's that on its own is not a problem. Yeah, let me try ducking a club here. They come back in spades, okay. And yeah, the, the assumption is that we're going to be in trouble just on um, entries. Like, we duck another club. They can knock out another spade. And then when clubs aren't 3-3... Three, three, we just have nothing. No way to get here. This is why this is why I said at the beginning the clubs did not seem very favorable. Yeah, that's no good. I do think I want to go after diamonds. I don't think it's right to play the queen, but it's something we could try. Hmm. Is there is there some hidden benefit here? Like if the queen loses to the uh, ace or king. Yeah, this, this is good news, because when diamonds are 3-2, I'm only going to lose two diamonds now. Maybe I have the timing I need. Well, let's find out. All right. Play a spade. The timing looks totally fine now. Not going to diamond. A spade, and we have all the tricks we need, plus extras. Actually, make two over tricks. 
why was low to the queen the right thing to do? Nothing in this auction, uh, which I can't see, suggested that that would be right. Hmm. I feel like there's some, some benefit that I'm missing. The contract will also only be fail even if the clubs are divided, are divided favorably. Is that true? They lose lead again in clubs. Oh, then they take um, diamond tricks. Oh, right. I don't even have an entry. Even you know that's true. I missed that entirely. That uh. I actually don't have a third spade in North Town to even get back to these clubs. The defenders can literally just box me out. Yeah, okay. That's a much stronger reason to not play on clubs. Yeah, so here's my the interesting decision, though. Playing a small diamond will succeed. Never have to dealt with a double and jack. Right. That's what I was imagining. But the queen wins with ace king on any length. Oh, because it was a doubleton jack over here. And a singleton jack. Oh, we already know that a singleton jack isn't happening in the west hand. Ah, okay. That's a small, it's a little, little small point. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's ideal. If they return, go to hearts and just bang down diamonds from the top. Yeah. All right. Guess I'll mark this as wrong and not very wrong. I have like a variety of the salient points. But if I have another hand like that in this set, then I'll I'll split the difference and probably mark one of them very wrong. Hey, this looks similar. Another uncontested three now. Okay, we have two spades, two hearts is four, two clubs is six, a diamond is seven. And they're coming right after our weak spot. So where are we getting two more tricks? Uh, clubs look better than spades, for sure. We have an extra club. Uh, chances are, on this auction, West did not have seven diamonds, so can't really hold up the ace of diamonds at all for any particular benefit. We can try, but I don't expect it to work. Um, hearts to get the tricks we need would require losing a heart. That sounds pretty fatal, because we expect them to just run diamonds. Like, finessing a club into east seems like maybe the, the best immediate approach. Um, the club finesse is better than just playing ace-king at a glance. And if we had to take the club finesse a particular way, we'd rather take it into east who may, maybe has two diamonds. So I think it's pretty unlikely on this auction that West wouldn't have found a bid. All right, I don't, I don't think it hurts us to duck this, so give it a shot. I think king and then the queen suggest that he still has the jack, but different players play that differently. Um, oh, I guess what we should be doing is actually combining some chances here. Uh, maybe 
maybe we don't take the club finesse. Um, this is actually a kind of a common situation of if there's two of these different finesses we might choose to do, what we could do, like either one fails, we're down, right? Like we know they're going to run a bunch of diamonds. Um, like diamonds were 5-4 at best. They're going to get four diamond tricks plus whatever trick we lose. So if we can't afford either finesse to, to fail, then we obviously can't try both finesses. What we can do is try banging down ace-king in one of the black suits to see if a queen drops. And then if it doesn't, take the finesse in the other suit. Um, and in that case, uh, in clubs, because we have more clubs, the queen is more likely to drop in clubs. And for that reason, we should try banging down the ace-king of clubs and then taking the spade finesse rather than the other way around. Um, and the ordering matters a bit too, because this, this spade finesse, I might want to take it twice. So I do want two entries to dummy. So if I'm going to play the top two clubs, I should play ace and then king. So I have a, a dummy entry in king, with the king of clubs and with the ace of hearts. If I do king and then ace, then I'll be in my hand before I find out whether or not the queen drops. And I'll only have one entry to dummy. Okay. Taking the finesse into east as like an avoidance play, I think would be a would be a much poorer line. We do not expect diamonds to be three or seven two. Okay, I'll play the top two clubs, and when the queen doesn't fall, we'll fall back to spades. And when east shows up with exactly a queen fourth, we'll know that our careful club play was rewarded. Yeah. That's nice to go bridge master as well. While they're, it's often very mean, it's also very rewarding when you get things right. It always gives you the layout that makes you feel the best. Uh, did I like. I still paying attention at some point. <laughs> uh, sorry. I like lost the plot while I was talking. All right, I do my hold up for fun. Ace of clubs. King of clubs. Spade finesse. Oh, we only have seven spades. Ah, okay. So it actually is a problem when we take the finesse. Oh, I didn't, I didn't cash the king of spades while I was here. That was the dumb thing that I didn't do while I wasn't paying attention. We'd, we'd kind of like to have that. That's important for when... <laughs> okay, now, now of course the spade is just pulling nicely. Yeah. If the spades are literally just like singleton spade with west and like five to the queen with east, we are going to need the king of hearts. It's pretty safe to cash, given that they didn't win the queen the first time. And now instead of going down, they'll give us the over trick by letting the queen drop. Okay. Turns out paying attention is good, and when I talk, sometimes I am not paying attention. Eddie Cantar's book, Take All Your Chances at Bridge, yeah, well, two books, it's like a volume one and a volume two, uh, are full of play problems on themes very much like that. How do we combine chances? Highly recommended. All right, we got a two-no bid, and I have no idea how they play this two-no trump. I would assume it's the miners. Does that seem believable with the cards that we have? Sure. I'm going to work on the assumption that this is 5-5 five, five in the minors. We've shown no suits naturally. Two clubs are artificial, so it should be the two lowest unbid suits, which is just the two lowest suits. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, if it is 5-5 five, five in the minors, then that leaves three clubs and three diamonds for East. All right, and they didn't try to bid anything. No. Okay. So hearts are good. We have two spade losers and a diamond loser. I need to get rid of two of these losers. King of clubs. 
can get rid of one of them. Uh, but only if I actually ever get to dummy. Which is not a guarantee. I basically can't get there in diamonds. Because if I cash the ace and lead up to the queen, they just take the king, no matter who has it. And if I play up to the queen without cashing the ace, the suit's blocked. Uh, whereas in spades, I actually do have a chance to get to dummy. Cashing ace of spades first is probably the right thing to do in that case, and then up to the queen. Because it could be a singleton king over here. Oh, actually, very, very unlikely, huh, on this auction. Um, yeah, very unlikely. Yeah, it seems like a successful finesse in one of the pointy suits plus the king of clubs would pitch two of my losers. And I just can't do that finesse in diamonds, so it has to be in spades. Though spades is unlikely to work. Let's see how the hearts are splitting first. Uh, so we had seven of these, two, so they have two more hearts. Okay. West had two hearts. So... West presumably has exactly one spade. Or it could even have no spades and it could have longer minor suits. Um, there's the potential for some kind of row in, maybe. Oh, yeah, actually. If I unblock the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Diamonds. And I play the Ace of Spades to draw West's last spade, should they even have one. And then I play a Diamond up. We strongly suspect that West has the King of Diamonds. Because they have nothing in hearts and nothing in spades. Like, they'd better have pretty much all the remaining minor honors to warrant this bid. Even then their hand is really tragic. Um, West will have to lead a Diamond or a Club. They can get the King of Diamonds. But then they have to give me an entry to my two winners. Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, Ace of Clubs to unblock the suit. Um, oh, maybe I don't need to lead the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, I don't think I have to, but I do want to play a spade to get rid of West's last spade. Oh, I need some, some throw-in. So I actually just play Ace of Diamonds and a Diamond. Is going to be my throw-in. And when West wins the King of Diamonds, he has no recourse. Has to play a, di a minor card back. Which gives me access to my winners. Take that. Perfect. So yes, 2NT was indeed 5-5 five, five in the minors. We're able to use that to very strong effect here. Without that clue, I think our best bet would be to play Ace of Spades in the Spade and try to finesse the Queen. But the auction tells us that is both very unlikely to work and also entirely unnecessary. Because we can just strip the major suits over here and throw West in. Beautiful. Four hearts, uncontested, no major bids from them. Looks like a heart loser, a spade loser, and potentially two club losers. All right. Uh, we can rough a club. Oh, not necessarily. They, they're still in a position to play ace and another heart. Like, if we take the ace of clubs and then play a club, they could play two rounds of hearts. If we duck this first round of clubs, they could still play ace and another heart. So that, that might not really resolve the issue. Though against, uh, against poor defenders, I think I would absolutely be ducking this club right away. 
So there's every possibility the West just continues clubs. And then I get to rough a club, and then I'm pretty much free. But, yeah, I see that that may not work against uh, a defender who knows what's up. If I can't rough a club, then it seems like I would want to set up diamonds. I could just play Ace-King of Diamonds and rough a diamond. When diamonds are 3-3, three, three, then... We have two extra winners. We'll only need one. Diamonds are 4-2. I need to rough diamonds twice. I don't necessarily have the entries for that. I might. I might get to lead up to the Jack of Hearts. And if West has the ace, maybe I can use the Jack of Hearts as an entry. When I'm roughing diamonds, I can rough them high. So I don't need to worry about over roughs, which is good. I think I should duck this first club anyways. Because, you know, it's always possible they continue clubs. It kind of forces them to switch to hearts fast. They do. Should I be trying the jack? As an entry early? I think so. But presumably West doesn't have the ace, because if they, if they did, they would have played the ace to draw two rounds trump. Okay, so yeah, no rough there. We have this jack of diamonds, can I use it for anything? Like, is there a better play in diamonds than just ace, king, and rough? Oh, also worth pointing out, there is a double finesse in, in spades available. Like, we could try to use the jack of spades. Um, but the double finesse is like 25%. Like, we need West to have both spade honors. Also, West didn't lead the king of spades, which they might have done if they had the king, queen of spades. I mean, they paired the king, the king, queen of clubs, so that's, you know, fair enough. But if they had the king, queen of spades, like, the fact they didn't lead a spade is just more evidence they don't have both honors. So, it, practically, the spade finesse is going to be worse than 25%. Whereas a 3 3 diamond split, that's like 36%. So, that's already better just theoretically. I do anything with this jack. If I had another dummy entry, like, yeah, maybe it would be right to play low to the jack? I might win against, like, four diamonds to the queen. In East hand, but I don't have the entries to do that. So my, my best guess is I just go for 3-3 three, three diamonds. Oh, sorry, one, one thing I should be careful about. There's no reason to lead the jack. I should lead a low diamond first, because I could pick up maybe like a singleton queen or something. No, that's probably bad, bad news anyways. Oh, can I afford to give up a diamond entirely? Uh, no, that's kind of scary. If I gave up a diamond... I would now have two losers contend. No, I don't think so. Rough. Diamonds are not splitting because, of course, they're not. Oh, am I still about to fall back on the, uh, the space pen? But, uh, yeah, this won't quite work, because East still got a diamond. Thud. Uh, they win their club at the end. I need 
anything else we can try? I can grab base of clubs right away, for what it's worth. I don't think it makes too much difference what I do here, when the defenders know what they're doing. Oh, I bet you I just made a mistake by taking the Jack of Hearts here. But I really could have used that as another entry. Oh, well, hmm, sorry, that's not true. It comes too early. I don't need the entry now. I need the entry after I've roughed a diamond. Yeah, okay. If I if I go back to my original line of ducking a club, I don't play the the jack there such that I can use it as an entry. It doesn't really help. Like I don't need this entry now. Because I'll do ace king of diamonds, rough a diamond, and it's gonna be exactly the same as before. So that doesn't seem like it changes much. Ah, so in that case, in that case, yeah, let's let's actually get the timing. Against bad defenders, I think ducking the club is good. Against competent defenders, I think we do need to take the ace now. Um, that way I can rough a diamond now, while I still can use the jack of, diamond, jack of hearts as an entry. Okay. Now, I have to be careful. I can't use a jack of hearts on my own. Like, if I play low to the jack now, east wins the ace. If I play the king of hearts, east just ducks. Like, if I play hearts on my own, I can't actually get this entry when east has the ace of hearts. So I think I need to threaten the club rough. And now they have to switch to hearts. And if they switch to hearts, like, west, west would lead the ace if they had it. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, because if, if, if they don't play the ace, um, even if us has the ace and doesn't play it, and I still choose to play the six, I'll be able to rough a club, because I'm going to win this trick. Okay, so they have to give me the entry. I rough another one high. I draw the last one or two rounds of hearts as necessary. In this case, it's just one. And then we have the tricks we need. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I had to see the value of actually winning the ace early for the sake of timing, so I could use the jack of hearts as that entry. Okay, cool hand. Lots going on this time. Another 2 no from west, and then east jumps to 5 diamond. Hearts are good. Spades, we may have a loser. Especially if west is 5-5 five, five in the minors. Then a bad spade split is not so unlikely. So a potential spade loser, and then of course the two clubs that we're about to lose right now. Okay, can't do too much about these first couple tricks. This king of clubs, queen of clubs. Queen of diamonds. Alright. Forced to win, otherwise we're going down. Okay, so we had five clubs, so east has three. Three diamonds, so east has five diamonds, which is... Uh, or commen commensurate with the auction? Is that the word? Commensurate? I think. So, this spade loser. That is our concern. Obviously, when spades are 3 2, no problem. If they're 4 1 and the jack is singleton, no problem. So, our big issue is when East has four spades to the jack. Can we do anything in this, such a situation? There's no, like, squeeze threat with the minor cards, because West has the minors well covered. I can't even 
If this was like the Eight of Spades, uh, maybe I could get something by dropping a nine over here. But nope, my spade spots are too poor. I could use it a six. Let's draw Trump first. Uh, well, actually, let me think about that. Yeah, is there is there any holding where he succeeds? So singleton Jack, that's fine. Singleton nine over here. If that was the case. Then East would have the Jack eight seven five. I can actually finesse against that five, right? Like as long as West doesn't have the five, West has a spade higher than the five. Then my six actually is like a fourth round winner if I like essentially finesse like towards the six multiple times. Maybe. That requires potentially three entries to the north hand. So I need to keep three of hearts to the four of hearts as one of my entries. Oh, well, I am in the north hand right now. Um, can I succeed if East has all the spades? If Jack nine eight seven in that case, so no, I actually can't succeed if East has all the spades. So I can take one of my finesses now. Oh, well, it's actually one of my finesses. It's just load of the ace. can't be a finesse on the first round. Okay. But now I need... I need to draw Trump. I need just two entries to the north hand. Which we have in the queen and jack. So I actually don't have to be too careful, right? Oh, unless uh, hearts are three -o? In any case, let me do ace to the two. And I have my entries. I have. Oops, sorry, not not that one. Eight to the jack. Three to the four comes later. Okay, we run this. Ag oh, oh, but we don't know. Sorry, it's all been on the assumption that spades are are not three two, but they actually could be, right? Oh, that's awkward. Supposed to cash another spade first, but then... Oh, West still has Jack-8-7, right? Sorry, my, my spade finesse thing doesn't actually work. No, never mind. I thought I had a, a way why it would work. Do I have to lead the Ten of Spades early? I think I might have to. Because East was able to slough the Five of Spades, and that was a problem. I don't think I can let them do that. Okay, back to the beginning. I think I need to play the Ten of Spades early. But man, this is really committing hard to the 4-1 line. If I actually run the Ten to start with. A lose never West has the jack, even doubleton jack, which I could have succeeded on. It's not unreasonable, given the auction, to assume the East has long spades. 
But is it reasonable enough that I should actually run the town? Uh, that's that's a bad that's a bad sign. No. <laughs> that's a problem. All right. Yeah, what is there actually to do? Yeah, so I don't see a particular benefit of like roughing these minor cards. Drawing Trump first or anything. Oh, okay. Once we find that there's two hearts, I mean, now we know that Spade is just building 4 1 at, at best. We know West only has room for one spade. Could it be right at that point then to play for this spade to be... It has to be not the jack and not the five, I think, for this to work. Okay, so maybe I'm allowed to do my ploy now. Once I've confirmed that West only has one spade, then it becomes a very reasonable thing for me to do this. Okay, we'll need to tend to force the jack out. That way we actually leave East with 875, which is now an actual festival combination. We've kept the three to the four of hearts as an entry. They don't, if they play low, they get, if they play high, we capture that. Back over here and we literally finesse against like the seven, winning the six of spades. Uh-huh. Okay. Right, because we we need to commit to our spade play before we actually know exactly what's happening in spades, we should at least draw two rounds of trumps um, to see if West has a singleton spade. We can infer the singleton spade after that point and then play accordingly. We win if this is a singleton 9, 8, or 7 by running to 10. Oh, and if it's a singleton 5, we had no way to succeed anyways. So the only risk of running to 10 is it's exactly singleton jack. In which case, we could have succeeded by banging down the ace, king, queen, but it was much more likely to be, you know, three to one that it was eight, seven, nine rather than the jack. Mm-hmm. Okay. These are some deep thought hands. Six spades. The spades are looking good. The hearts are looking good. Need to worry about these diamonds. No bidding from them. So three diamond losers. We have an extra winner, ace of clubs, we have an extra winner in the jack of hearts. Um, but the hearts are blocked. If we're able to use both of these, we could pitch both diamonds. And we wouldn't need the diamond finesse. The diamond finesse is useful for an entry, like if we had to get back to the hearts later, but yeah, we can't use it right now. And ducking a club here, or like ducking this around and roughing it, I don't know if that helps too much. I still can't use these of clubs as an entry later.
Oh, could I potentially duck this around and rough it and then lead up to the Queen of Diamonds? I'm losing a diamond anyways on this hand. If I lead to the Queen of Diamonds and it holds, then I just use the Ace of Clubs right away. Pitch a diamond. And we're good. I fully to the Queen of Diamonds and it does not hold. Then maybe I need to try something a little more dangerous. Like hoping that hearts are actually 4 2. Oh, it's actually super dangerous. I'm trying to imagine a world where I get to use the Jack of Hearts without drawing Trump all the way. And it's pretty scary. Because I need the spade as an entry. I can only draw one round of spades before playing East King Queen of Hearts. I'd be literally hoping for somebody to have one spade and two hearts. Two or fewer hearts. But their partner can't rough when I play the Ace King Queen of Spades. But at least I would have tried the much safer Diamond Finesse before attempting that scary line. You know, there's some merit. Yeah, if I... Did that, did that line actually require me to duck this club? I could take use of clubs. Draw around a trump and do the diamond finesse. Oh, but then when it loses, they take they draw another round of trump and I'm out of my entries. I'm gonna play low here. <laughs> oh yeah, any benefit to just playing out the hearts? Oh, of course, because the other way we can succeed is the heart to just 3-3. Three, three. So it doesn't have to be that scary. All right, that's my, it's way more sane than whatever I was saying about hearts. We just, so we try the diamond finesse. And when it doesn't work, we'll still have a spade entry, which we could use. We could test hearts and then... Oh, but then we can only draw two rounds of spades before playing the heart? That's its own problem. I can't really rely on hearts being 3-3. Three, three. I think it's very hard to use the Jack of Hearts. Because yeah, if the Diamond Finesse works, I don't need the Hearts at all. And if the Diamond Finesse doesn't work, I really do need access to my Jack of Hearts, which can't come in Diamonds, necessarily. But have to come in Spades. I'd only have two rounds of Spades drawn. And that seems like a problem. I'm going to try the Diamond Finesse first, though. All right. And that doesn't work. Alright, time for my crazy master plan of drawing one round of spades, then working on hearts. Uh, not, not today. <laughs> yeah, alright. Like, could there be some throw-in? Or, uh, yeah, similarly, let's say we duck this. We just work on the hearts right away. And someone roughs in. Cool. 
what would they lead? They just lead a spade back, right? And that doesn't really help us. And now I can't lose a diamond. That seems not very tenable. Considering some crazier options like dropping one of the hearts on the Ace of Clubs, that way I can like do a third round heart rough, but <laughs> I don't think this gains me anything. Mm hmm. Don't think I have good ideas for this one. Let's see what they have to say. Yes, it could describe a diamond loser. But yeah, it sure seems like we need a diamond for us. Oh, do we duck a... Oh, how do we succeed against a singleton or doubleton king? Oh, you're not going to tell us? Oh, what's the, what's the right play in diamonds handle a doubleton king? Uh, I don't know. What a tease. But okay. So I think we should rough this. Okay. Draw Trump. Discarding a club. All right. Cash the heart winners. Oh, this is them explaining it. And then we do Ace of Diamonds and we do the finesse. And when the finesse works, we're fine. Um, but if the East if East had double to the king, they would have to play a club or a heart back. And that's really all they're going for here. Okay. Is we're literally just gonna pick up that extra chance of doubleton king of diamonds by keeping us of clubs and dummy. Huh. Yeah, alright. I did need to, like, have more conviction that I indeed could not possibly use the Jack of Hearts. At least not as part of, like, a finesse. And just go all in on how we could get the best diamond play. All right. Well, that's definitely a very wrong. But let's have intuition about potentially ducking the club being useful. Okay, four spades. Nothing from them. We are missing two spades, a heart, and a diamond. Uh, oh, nope, they've led the jack of diamonds. Oh, well, all right then. In that case, at a glance, it looks like we're just losing two spades and a heart, which is no problem at all. Uh, that said, they're going to get control a couple times, so could they do anything annoying? Like we win, we win this. We try to attack spades. Maybe they play a heart. We play another spade, and now... Oh, they play heart and we rough it. That's kind of fine. There's potentially some concern about a, a diamond rough, I suppose. Like, we play a spade, they play a second diamond, play another spade, now dummy's out, and uh, out of spades, and, like, a diamond rough can occur. So, that's, that's a possible danger.
And it doesn't matter if we if we foresaw that and tried to just play another diamond right away. That doesn't really help, right? They would when we play the spade, they just take two rounds of spades and play a diamond and get a rough. It's very much one of those what can go wrong hands. Everything looks very straightforward. So yeah, what what could go wrong? I can actually do my own unnecessary diamond rough. King of diamonds, rough a diamond high with the six of spades. When diamonds are splitting normally, the defenders are like, what the fuck are you doing? You're just roughing winners. But, you know, I've got a plan. And if diamonds are 5-2... We accomplish anything? Uh, not, not sure that we have. <laughs> hmm. I think we've identified the danger. Is presumably the defenders can always arrange for the the person with the diamonds to win the second spade. Like if I leave a diamond outstanding, if, if diamonds are five two and not say six one, then the defender with the other diamond wins the first spade to clear diamonds, and then the defender with the long diamonds wins the second spade to give the rough. I draw a second round of diamonds first, then the person who's out of diamonds just wins the first spade, plays another spade, so the partner gets the rough. Yeah, so West Doubleton or West Jack certainly suggests a Doubleton Diamond. Oh yeah, can I? Can I like King of Diamonds? I play another diamond, and if West roughs this diamond high. And they've already given up one of their high spades. Well, they would still just lead over to their partner and get another diamond rough, right? Whereas if they if they didn't rough at all, I could actually rough with a two, knowing it would hold, come back with another diamond high, and now they get no diamond roughs at all. But I think they could just rough a diamond high and pass over to east for, and then win their third spade. Let me, like, demonstrate that line. I expect West to rough high. I would have to play the play diamond. Oh, they don't. Oh, they can rough with this, though. They still have, like, high spade and a low spade, right? Like a king four or something, so... And they have like ace five over here or something like that. So yeah, I can't afford to try to rough it a diamond. All right, so yeah, this doesn't quite work. 
Oh, and you kind of want the diamond stoppers anyways, right? Oh, that's not true. You don't care about that. They just give the diamond draw, right? Just like that. So far, I haven't been considering dummies clubs, but like there's no entry, so those seem very unuseful. So here's the, let's go for the main naive line just to show how this works is East just gives the, okay, this gives me the singleton. Oh, they didn't give them the singleton. They just give East both diamonds, I guess, then. Or both, both high spades, I mean. So yeah, that way they can get their rough. And then we can't pitch the, uh, the heart. I guess the danger is, okay, West has three small spades. Two diamonds. Oh, in that case... No, playing another diamond still isn't useful, right? Like, I could play another diamond. Sure. But as soon as I play spades, East is going to grab Ace, King of Spades, and Diamond Rough. If I play a diamond, West is forced to rough. Because if they don't, then I just rough my other diamond high. And now there's no more now there's no more diamond roughs coming. Because I can just rough diamonds in my hand. Oh, but if West, if West does rough a diamond, though, uh, well, I can't really let them have it, because if they have it, then they're going to get that spade rough, plus the ace-king of spades, plus the heart. Oh, but on the other, ha other hand, if they do do this... They only have two spades left. Oh, but now East can give them the rough um, without drawing both rounds of spades because I no longer have my high spade and dummy. I think is what happened last time, right? I play a spade now. East can just give the diamond rough immediately. Yeah, just like that. And it doesn't help me to run to play a second round of diamonds. Or I am. Um, well, like fourth round of diamonds. They rough that. I come back to Ace of Clubs. They play another diamond. West just roughs again. And now they're going to score four spade tricks. Oh, sorry. Three spade tricks. I, I, I over roughed the last time. They're going to win this spade, Ace King of Spades, and the Heart. That's also no good. Oh, do we actually avoid this danger?
I don't know. Yeah, the only danger is the diamond drop. True. If we lead a Trump, that's gonna win. Play a second round of diamonds. We can't play a Trump now. Oh, do we have to play our do one round of Trump and then go back to diamonds? Ah, okay. If West roughs, we over rough, and now we draw the last round of spades, and no more diamond rough can happen. Yeah, okay. Oh, cash the two aces. Mistake to run diamonds for playing one round of Trump. Yeah, yeah, was, we tried that out. It did not work. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Two spades, four spades. Okay, potentially missing a spade, two hearts, and a club. And nothing from them. All right. Can't do much about the hearts. King of hearts, queen of hearts. Jack of hearts. Mace is there, okay. Like trying to miss a, an opening pass or anything. Because West, West has a king, queen, jack of hearts and could have either or neither of the missing black queens. Yeah. Um, potential throw-in, elimination and throw-in, if I was to rough this last diamond. And then something like Ace of Spades and run the Jack of Spades. When Ace wins with the Queen, they're stuck. Yeah, that that sounds good to me. I'm not risking much by playing two rounds of diamonds. I can rough this high. I say. Um. <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh, we don't come up to the finesse yet. We draw a trump first, then we do the finesse. It's not going to work. Woohoo! Alright. Uh, okay, eliminating that diamond was dangerous. True. Maybe I should be playing the Ace of Spades first.
I play the Ace of Spades. Oh, that's exciting. Well, now the throw in's not very good because I can just turn a spade. I like my elimination line in general. I was hoping it would obviate the need for either black finesse. Any nicer way to do it? Yeah, it could be to play up to the king and an ace. Oh, why do you do this? It appears not to involve playing a spade the first time. Roughing with the ace, roughing the uh, third round of diamonds with the ace seems frightening. And like ducking a whole round here seems pretty scary too, because now we just have to do the. Oh, well, I mean, it's not really a duck. It's basically just doing the the finesse. Because now we just have to do the club finesse. Similarly, if I played like Ace of Diamonds and I finessed this way, we're gonna just have to do the club finesse later. Nothing's improving. Sure feels like there's meant to be some elimination here. This last set of level 3D is mean. Yeah, actually, I don't think we can rough anything higher here. Like, roughing with the ace doesn't help our cause in the slightest. Because if this finesse loses next... Oh, we still win when they're 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, like, they just... 
put us back in in spades and make us do the finesse ourselves. Ugh. What we got? Long as we cash the ace first. I feel like the text and the images have gotten out of sync. <laughs> like, they're, they're back here talking about East discarding, but West is the one discarding. And over here, they're like, ah, just cast the ace. We're in the middle of a heart trick. Um, so we'll ignore the pictures for a sec. Maybe, okay, if that's going to be a little bit broken, maybe let's do it ourselves. Let's think about that. So they say that we're actually okay <laughs> if we do the ace of spades first. Let's see. If you do the ace of spades, obviously if spades are 2-1, are we're just good to go. When they're not, oh, now can I do my elimination? Oh, okay. I guess now I can, right? Now I did a king of spades, king of diamonds, ace of diamonds. I don't mind if this last diamond gets roughed, because it either gets roughed, or if it doesn't, I just need to throw it manually, like that. And we know East wins it. And has to return either a red suit for a rough and slough, or a club, giving me this. I think part of the thing I got wrong is I was thinking there were four outstanding spades, which is not the case. I don't know if I actually said it explicitly, but I kept thinking about spades being, like, 4-0. But we have 10 of them. Okay, and then why doesn't this work if we do the king of spades first? I guess because in that case, if, um, if West is one of three spades... The, the point is that if we cash ace of spades, either spades are 2-1, and we're fine, or East has three spades, in which case we do our elimination, or West has three spades, in which case we just finesse. And so by playing the ace of spades, we find out right away which of the three situations we're living in. Um, if we catch the king of spades, we're in trouble when West has three spades. Because if, uh, again, if they're 2-1, we're fine. If East has all three, we just finesse. But if West has all three, this elimination doesn't work. Because we can only throw in West, and West is the one who can lead clubs through us. Okay. I think a lot of my issues stem from just thinking about there being four spades outstanding. Which doesn't help. Alright, opposing bidding this time, and exciting five clubs from us. Partner brings some real good cards. We have four spades, so we expect these spades to be five and four. I mean, four or five is possible. But probably, yeah, five spades with west, four with east. Okay, clubs are looking fine. But we might lose heart, heart, diamond, which is one too many. We do, of course, have a double finesse available in hearts, as long as East is one of the heart winners, or heart honors. Uh, we'll lose just one heart. Heart and diamond is fine. And we do have the entries to take those finesses. We only need two entries, um, so we'd probably play Ace of Clubs and then you know, King of Clubs finesse, Queen of Clubs finesse.
Uh, what do we have for the high craft points, actually? Let's see. What's missing? King Queen of Hearts is 5, King Queen of Diamonds is 10, and the King Queen Jack of Spades is 16. A little unclear how those are distributed. With only four spades and jumping to four like this, I'd expect you to have a fairly weak hand. But yeah, unclear. Oh, we know where the King Queen of Spades are, at least. Is there anything else exciting we might try to do? It's worth pointing out we could actually get a third entry of Dummy, should we need it. They have two to the three of clubs, so we can play like jack to the king, you know, ten to the queen, two to the three. As long as they fall in suit to the first round. Oh, there's a jack of spades, okay. So, like, can we work on these diamonds at all? Um, like, before we go work on, on hearts, like, we can play ace of diamonds and a diamond up. We expect West to just win... Oh, well, if they win and return a heart, that's super handy. If they win and return a spade, can't we use an entry to now set up a diamond trick? We play one of the diamonds pitching a heart. We lose, like, one diamond, another diamond, but now we have an established diamond. That seems pretty good. And play the ace of diamonds... And we play it to the diamond. Oh, and then East wins the diamond. Um, then we just go back to the heart plan. This way we win if East has a heart honor or if West has both diamond honors. That seems good to me. Do we need to draw any trump first? Like, probably not. And I may need my two entries up here. Oh, I still need two entries to the north hand when I do this, right? Like, if I do one round of trump, I think that's okay. Because I do ace of diamonds, diamond up. If west wins it, draw trump and take my diamond. If east wins it, I still have my two entries to do the hearts. Oh, do I need three entries? One to the first finesse, which loses. One to the second finesse, which... Well, if it wins, I'm fine. I think I can draw around Trump first. Before I do this. Okay, so round of Trump. Up to the diamond. In case West has both honors. And when that's not the case... We work on this finesse. Rough. They did both follow to the first club, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I guess I actually get to rough one more diamond. In case honor falls. Before finally working on this. No dice. Alright. Can we do even better? I might have actually wanted all three of those entries myself, because I I only got the third entry this time because Ready led a heart. So it's possible I was being punished for taking that one round of trumps. Let me try this again without the trump draw. Because yeah, I forgot there's actually one more thing we can try with our third entry, which is roughing a diamond. Okay, nothing there. The heart, they can't play a heart back. Jack to the king. Roughing a diamond. Let me try that out. Okay. Oh, I say that's not it. 
It can't really do the, like, leading the Jack Diamond finesse. There's just not enough length in our hand for that. No particularly clear throw-in of West. I don't think I see this one either. Elimination lines. Ace of spades. Yeah, leave, keeping our two to the three. True. Roughing a spade. Okay, eliminating spades. And then exiting in diamonds. If West wins the trick, then yeah, their options are to play a spade, in which case you rough and slough a heart. To play a diamond, which establishes a diamond that we've kept an entry to with the three of clubs. Or play a heart, which is going to give us a free finesse. True. So Easton said has to win this diamond. East returns a diamond. We just pitch a heart and we have an established diamond trick. The spade return is that. And then the heart. We have to, oh, in the heart, we let that run around, and then again, West gets end played. And they might indeed have an exit. They might have a safe exit in diamonds. But if that's true, we still get to try the heart finesse. It's strictly better than just taking the heart finesses. Yeah. All right. True, true, true. Hopefully I can actually solve one of the next six. <laughs> All right, no Trump, no illuminations here. No. Okay, this lead has ostensibly given us two spade tricks. Two hearts is four, two clubs is six. We need three more tricks. We are liable to get them in diamonds, but maybe not if diamonds are splitting poorly. No clues from the auction. If diamonds are 4-1, which is our concern, what might we do? At a glance, I think we would prefer East to have four diamonds, because we could lead past him twice to get the queen and the jack. Like, we win this with the queen, let's say we play ace of clubs, a diamond past the ace to the jack. Uh, probably ace of clubs, and another diamond past. And at that point, if we got two diamond tricks, and we knew that diamonds were 4-1, we could just set up a club and get three clubs, two diamonds, two hearts, and two spades. That seems like a good line. I don't think we can do too much when West has four diamonds. We can play up to the king once. 
then they're definitely capturing one of the queen or jack. Uh, okay, well, that's clear enough. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Uh, that jack of clubs is a bit ominous, because maybe clubs aren't splitting either. In that case, maybe I'm actually supposed to use the king of hearts as my next uh, entry. Oh, I need to know what's happening in clubs, though. Okay. So play this past, and indeed it holds. So if I play the king of clubs, and it turns out that east is out of clubs, I've established two club tricks for west. But there's also no communication between the east and the west hands at that point. I might still be able to get my trick in hearts. Because like if East wins the third heart, if my hearts are 3-3, three, three, I get another heart trick. So if West wins the third heart, then it win the Ace of Diamonds, a heart, and two clubs. And if East has last heart, they have Ace of Diamonds and a heart. Okay. okay. I think it's okay to play the King of Clubs next. Alright. Clubs are also not splitting well. All right, I have my two diamond tricks. Um, we have eight tricks available. All right, have queen of spades and these three hearts. I need a heart trick. I can't get eight trick in diamonds. I can't get it in clubs, so it has to come from hearts. This guy can't do much. So now I go after my hearts. Nice. All right. We got one. We got one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an interesting one. Yeah, important thing to really note is that what we can do if somebody has four diamonds to the ace. And we are suits like good enough we can... Because at any point, if ace had played the ace of diamonds, we would just have had three diamond tricks. And we'd be done. So we force ace not to take the ace of diamonds and let us grab two tricks from underneath them. And then we can go switch somewhere else. Which hopefully is clubs, but if it can't be clubs, it'll just have to be hearts. Alright, six clubs. Clubs okay, hearts okay. They don't want to lose a diamond and a spade. I wonder if I have something similar on this hand. Like, this diamond combination. If I was to play a diamond from north, I think we succeed whenever East has the ace. Because if East has the ace and plays it, then now the king of diamonds is an extra winner, which could put you a spade. And if East doesn't play it, then we win the queen of diamonds. Oh, I guess that doesn't help us. It's all the diamond loser and a spade loser. Uh, okay. No, maybe not. Never see finesses, or only thinking about throw ins. Like, we've got to throw West in. They have to give us a free spade finesse, maybe, at some point. But that's pretty hard to do, because the throw-in card looks like it would have to be the Ace of Diamonds. 
and they could always take that at a time when they could safely return diamonds. So it seems like an elimination isn't too likely. Obviously, we always have the spade finesse, so it's just worth considering what, uh... Oh, well... We do an extra heart, which we can throw a diamond. That could help with some eliminations, potentially. Hmm. Like, yeah, if East had the Ace of Diamonds, could we not... Play the diamond past East. They're not allowed to play it. Otherwise, we have the King of Diamonds, switch a spade, put in the Queen. We then get rid of a heart on our hearts. Oh, then we're just planning to throw an East at that point, which is not helpful because they can just play a spade. So might we try it the other way around, assuming, say, West has an Ace of Diamonds. So we play the low diamond past West. If they take the ace, one more thing, we get to just get rid of the spades. But if they don't play it, we take the king, we pitch an extra heart, play the diamond, west gets end played. Okay, I think that's the proper sequence. So now we get to, instead of doing just, spade, just the spade finesse, we also get to win if west has the ace of diamonds. Okay. So let me draw Trump. And we have our entry to use the King of Diamonds if we have to. Play this diamond for the King, which does hold. If it had lost to East Ace, we would just do the Spade Finesse. But when this works, then we now get to pitch a diamond from Dummy, throw West in with the Ace, and West has no recourse. Their best bet is to try the Spade Finesse. Well, try a Spade, hoping, yeah, hoping Partner has the Ace. And they do not. And we're good. I think we've seen a hand with a similar theme before, where as long as we like think of the right person who we want to be holding the ace, we can like play past it in an appropriate direction. I forget if it, maybe we haven't combined this with an elimination. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like we might have though, but I don't quite recall. East is bidding a heart, and we end up in four spades. In that case, let's count some stuff. We have uh, 9, 7, 16 high card points. Partner has 5. Only 21. East has, you know, 12-ish, 12, 12 just at least. Uh, oh, it'd be more, because West didn't actually bid over the double even. So of the 19 there... East is probably sitting on, like, 14+. plus. Uh, this also appears to be a singleton heart from West. Okay, then we don't know too much about the point distribution. So, a spade loser is possible. Heart rough could maybe be in the cards. Um, two club losers. I suppose there's maybe no benefit to putting up the jack or ten. Like, East has to play a, a high heart. And, oh, East could play the nine if I played it two. 
and they would indeed play the knight. Okay. Uh, in that case, I guess I probably should be establishing my other heart by playing a high one. Okay. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay. I haven't thought this through quite yet. It's possible. I need to think about it more before trick one. Um, but yeah, a concern is that we're we're losing a heart in any case, right? Like we can't. This fourth heart would have to get roughed, and we can't. We can't really rough it. We have to draw trump. So our concern then is we lose club club heart, and then spades turn out not to be three two. Certainly a possibility. Oh, do I see the reason for playing low at trick one? I think I might. So let me, let me go back. That's play the nine, right? Because this gives us a real finessing position against the queen now. I played the jack before. Didn't really have that right. The jack just won. Oh, well, now they could just not cover the. They cover the. I guess it would still exist. Maybe it doesn't matter too much. I'm not sure. But yeah, it seems like I would like to finesse against the queen. That'll be useful if Trump turn out to be not three two. Oh, but they had the queen and the nine when I played the jack. No, the jack run. They could have just covered the ten, ten queen ace, and they would have won the nine. Yeah, I think I do have to play low here to actually set up the finessing position in hearts. Okay. Now we draw trump, and if they turn out to be four one, they are. Uh, I think we'll need to knock out that last trump before we do our heart finesse. Don't want any interfering roughs. And yeah, now we have our heart finesse available. They can have their two club tricks and I'll call it a day. Yeah, that's a little interesting about exactly when we know that East has the five hearts, then exactly what we should do here to set up avoiding a heart loser. Yeah, in the first line, if I took the jack, so it goes jack and they duck, which is quite the play from East. Now they still have queen nine. If I play the ten, they cover with the queen. And now I have a7, and I have, oh, I still have an entry. Oh, but I have to draw trump first. I have to use my entry, then they would cover, and I wouldn't have a second entry to do the finesse again. Like, the finesse would work, but I would need two entries for it. By playing low, we force them to play the nine early. Otherwise, it's just over. I could actually, well, yeah, I can just finesse. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Four spades. Spades looking good. Hearts good. Could lose. Club, club, diamond. Which would be fine. At a glance, this looks like two clubs and a diamond loser. All right. Um, potential trouble brewing in the fact that we have short hearts which means we could get tapped. I feel like to me that just means I should do the diamond finesse early before I draw Trump.
Which does risk, however, a diamond rough. Okay, this trick's pretty forced. Because the concern is, like, I draw two rounds of Trump. It turns out Trump are 4 1. And if I. Well, let's say I drew four rounds of Trump. I do the diamond finesse. It fails. They play a heart and I have to rough it. Maybe 4 1 Trump isn't a problem. Maybe 5 0 Trump is a problem. If Trump tried to be 5 0. Now we're in some amount of trouble, right? I think I can still afford to play one round of spades to find out. No, uh, that's not true. If they are 5 0 and we lose a diamond and they force me in hearts, I, mean, I could throw two clubs away, but eventually they're going to let me rough another round of hearts. And they get a diamond, two clubs, and a heart trick. The possibility is like setting up this diamond to pitch a club and then taking it, getting a club rough, which would recover that one trick I'm losing. And now only lose like a club, a diamond, and a spade. I think it's okay for me to play around with spades and find out the trumper for it. Oh, they're not. They're not five zero. Isn't everything okay when they're four one? Like I don't mind getting tapped once. I was thinking that when they're 4 1, I could draw Trump entirely. Oh, is the problem that diamonds are blocked? Oh, maybe that's the real danger here. Hmm, okay. Because then we play the ace. We, like, I'm just eschewing the diamond finesse because I don't need that. But now we get tapped in hearts. Um, we can like struggle a little by pitching clubs and hoping they run out of hearts. But at some point, they're going to just, you know, play hard. And now the diamonds are blocked, and that's the actual problem. Okay. That's the danger. This one working on diamonds early could be useful. Maybe I'm able to draw... Am I able to draw like two rounds? That way I still have like a path back between the hands. Oh, I take this and then that's okay. Hmm. But now Westall has a high spade, which is drawable, but I'm short a trick. I play diamond now, they're rough. And if I draw the last trump, I'm short a trick. I have ace of clubs, queen of spades, ten of diamonds. That's it. 
is it necessary for me to work on diamonds really fast? So that even if I incur an unnecessary rough in diamonds, I can make it back in clubs. I don't think there's any harm in actually trying the finesse for real. Yeah, they get this rough. But uh, I can't. I still can't rough a club. I think my goal is to like pitch a club on a diamond. But I can't do that until Trump are drawn, and I have to draw three rounds of Trump now. Damn you, diamonds, why are you blocked? Mm -hmm -hmm. What else can we do? Don't think I have more ideas. The contract does not seem to be any danger, but we know. We see the danger. Very careful. Okay, so we want to start by drawing Trump. He discards here. So I should stop drawing Trump. Now if we draw all the Trump, we have this issue of diamonds just being blocked. Yep. Okay, so we reveal the 4 1 break. We take the finesse. When it loses. Oh, yeah, so through Trump. Uh, oh, let's see. If he ducks the Diamond King, we could draw Trump and play diamonds from the top. True. And now we'd be able to unblock the diamonds. East winds, and we have the heart force. The second round of diamonds. Oh, and then draw Trump? Are we still blocking ourselves out of the diamonds? Ah, we use the Trump to describe the diamond. I was thinking about, like, whether we could use the hearts or something. Um, we use the trump to unblock the diamonds. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
so everybody doesn't mean hearts. Yeah, I was thinking about, like, is there any other way of, of pitching this diamond? I didn't see it, but yes, we can use trumps to unblock the diamond. Very clever. All right, four spades. Diamond bidding from the ops. Both showing some kind of constructive values. We have 16, partner 6, 22, they have 18. You expect to be kind of like 12 and 6? Maybe like 11 and 7, something like that? 10 and 8, maybe? But not too much further than that. Okay, for what it's worth. They each have five diamonds? Um. East might have found a some jump with more than five diamonds. Or with more than, with like four or five. I guess it would be like six diamonds and four is maybe the most likely. But that might not be too relevant. A big concern here, of course, is losing three clubs. Uh, and a heart. West is a favorite to have the Ace of Clubs. Well, maybe after showing up with the Ace King of Diamonds, uh, that's seven of their points, and we think it's like 12 and 6, then maybe West doesn't actually become such a huge favorite to have the Ace of Clubs after that. The remaining, the remaining high card points are split pretty evenly at that point. But still, I'd like to avoid taking finesses if there's some safer approach. Queen of Diamonds is kind of handy in that maybe we can set it up in some way. Like, if West gets on lead, they can't attack clubs. Um, and they can't quite attack diamonds. Like, I could actually, um, instead of roughing this diamond, could I not pitch a club? West will have to find a switch. They can't afford to set the queen up. Not this matters too much, but let's say I just pitch the club and then find some switch. Sure. So I have potential throw-ins in hearts, but it can't really control who's winning the third round of hearts. Uh, Probably a better throw in. Is the Queen of Diamonds, because West presumably has to win that. I want hearts gone at that point. Okay, maybe that was a mistake, throwing a club. I think I actually do have to throw a heart, that way I can eliminate hearts. I think I throw a heart on this first trick. West similarly still has to switch, and probably to a heart. But now I'm in a position where I can eliminate hearts, and eliminate diamonds, and then do queen of diamonds throwing a club to throw West in. I think that's going to be the appropriate approach. Okay. I need... Well, I'll be able to do ace of hearts and rough, I'll need one entry to rough a diamond, another entry to play the queen. I want two dummy entries. Which uh, doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. All right. And the trump are splitting nicely. And the power in the house has gone out. Oops. Hmm. All right, the power is now back on. So let's uh, try this hand again from the beginning. We had a nice walk, we had a nice lunch. Power finally came back. Okay, so I recall correctly, we had just... Pitched a heart 
on this lead with the intention of eliminating hearts, eliminating a diamond, and then throwing west in with the ace of hearts. Or ace of diamonds, rather. Okay. Bumper splitting. We will eliminate hearts. Eliminate a diamond, making sure to keep a, a low spade so we have an entry back to the Queen of Diamonds. And then we'll throw in West while eliminating the diamonds. And they will have no recourse. They either attack clubs and we lose only one club, or they give us the rough and slough. And we also lose only one club. All right. Now, last hand of level 3D, uh, of level 3 entirely. It's a 6 no. All right, we have four spades. A heart is five. Two clubs is seven. Diamond is eight. Okay. There are a lot of other diamond tricks to get, like, you know, five more diamond tricks. So this is probably a bit more about, less about taking 12 tricks than it is about not losing two tricks. If we take the ace of hearts right now, then we can't afford to lose a diamond. We would basically just be taking the diamond finesse. And similarly, if we took this heart finesse right now when it failed, the Jack the King, um, we'd be in a pretty similar position. We'd have to just take the diamond finesse. Um, but this, if we try the heart now and it succeeds, then we'll succeed even when the diamond finesse wasn't working. So even though it's not that we're trying to get an extra heart trick. Like, I don't, I don't need a heart trick. Like, if I get five diamonds, two clubs is seven, a heart is eight, four spades is twelve. Like, it's fine. I don't need the heart trick. But playing the jack of hearts, I think, does give us an extra chance. Because now we win when the King of Hearts is on side, even when the King of Diamonds isn't. That seems useful to me. Like, all right, it wasn't on side. We still try the Diamond Finesse. And we've got enough entries in spades to untangle the diamonds, even if they hold up the king until the second round. Oh, uh, well, if they hold the king until the second round, we'd be in trouble. No, it turns out we're in trouble here. Just straight up not getting the diamond tricks we need. We have five tricks. And then we've got six more down here. But that's it. Yeah, there's this possibility of a club and diamond squeeze. It's probably tricky. I would have wanted to draw or run the spades ending in the north hand in that case. We only have the entries for the to the diamonds. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's worked. I 
don't quite see how taking the Ace of Hearts would help our cause. Like, we expect this to look pretty similar, right? We take the Ace of Hearts, say, and we still try the Diamond Finesse. We still need West to have something like King Third of Diamonds at most. Okay, on this line, they just make it fail and they take a heart, sure. What else might we try? There's no way to make this the, the extra diamond trick. So you have four spades. At most, two hearts is six. Yeah. Eight with the clubs. Like, we just need lots of diamond tricks. I can't see a particular way to handle West having four diamonds, though. Like, yeah, a benefit of doing this, too, is it does rectify the count for a squeeze. But I kind of need more than just a squeeze here. It surely can't be right to just bang down diamonds from the top. Oh, yeah, of course not. We uh, just lose the king. What would we do differently? I want to be more careful in some way about how I get to my hand. I don't think it matters if I come back in spades versus clubs. I still leave a spade entry. Is there actually a club diamond squeeze? All right, clubs are still guarded and diamonds are still guarded. No, this doesn't seem any good. Hmm. Look at the solution maybe part way, let's see. Right. Yeah, it's true. The finesse is not like the game, but we might as well play the jack. I agree. Yeah, but it does have the, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, it turns a heart. It would be mistake to press some diamonds more than once at this stage. All right. Oh, so we leave an entry to the diamonds in case we do need the club diamond squeeze. Ah. I suppose we did what I did. We take two diamond finesses. 
and indeed will find it very hard to win the diamonds. Yep, true. But yes, that squeeze can work if we're a little bit more careful. Aha, aha. Protect the finesse, it appears to work. Cool, because you think they would have taken the trick if, uh, if they want to take the contract down. And now we need to run the spades. I said I wanted to run spades ending in the north hand, so I'd enter to the, to the diamonds. But as long as I leave myself one diamond in the south hand, now I can run my spades. Yeah, pitching all the clubs from dummy. And see what happens here. East can't guard clubs or diamonds. West is stuck guarding both of them. If West hasn't, uh, we want to pay a little bit of attention to what's happening in the clubs. We should probably be counting clubs as we do this. And pitch another club. Yeah, if there's a diamond discard, we'll know that we can just take the diamonds. And if there's a club discard, then we'll play the king of clubs. And if the clubs are good, we'll play them. Otherwise, we'll take the diamond from us again. True. Squeezes do typically involve uh, playing your winners in the right order. It turns out that right order isn't trivial. <laughs> A lot of hands. Yes. We just need extra entry to the squeeze. Okay. I got it. Close, but didn't quite get it. All right. I think that's going to give us our final stats for level three. Let me just update some numbers here. Okay. So the last time I did level three, two years ago, I put 27% of the hands in the very wrong category. And that has improved to 13%. So that was good. Ones where I had literally no clue what to do. Turns out a lot of those ones were from today. I feel like I put like five very wrongs or something today out of 15 hands. This last set was tricky. Um, wrong, so up from 29% to 26%. So less of an improvement there. Uh, my near corrects dropped from 8% to 4% because my overall corrects increased from 36% to 57%. So yeah, I definitely got a lot more right. So last time I said I got 45 of them right out of 126. And this time I got 72 right. So definitely a marked improvement there. Most of it was moving very wrongs into corrects overall. Yeah, definitely a, a marked improvement from two years ago, which is, of course, fun to see. And I'm excited to go through level four again, because last time I put over half the hands, almost 60%, as very wrong. So hopefully I will be better at some of them, but I guess be prepared in level four for a lot more of me just staring blankly at hands, see what happens. But I'm sure it'll be fun. We'll definitely encounter a lot more squeezes. I think we had maybe three squeezes in level three. It was like a simple squeeze, there was a strip squeeze, which I did not expect to see in level three, and I did not get it right. Then there's this one, which uh, required pre preparing for the possibility that we might need a squeeze. A lot of the time we won't. Um, it's easier to see a squeeze when it's your only chance. It's trickier when it's like a, a little additional chance that you have to actually prepare for up front. But I'm sure we'll see a number of them in level four. All right. Thanks for coming. See you again in level four.